Mercedes is a very warm person, very caring, compassionate, loving, just all about other people. In 2017, she started a charitable trust called Mentor Ed, um, where volunteers go into schools and work one-on-one -on -one with children, usually the lower decile schools who maybe don't have enough funding for um, more teacher aids and things like that. She sees the potential on every child. These children can thrive. These children are more than capable of being amazing human beings because they already are. She's got a heart of gold, you know? This is called ASV Good As Gold Award. Her heart is pure gold. Like, she's the most compassionate person you'll ever meet. He deserves it 100%. Mercedes is in this classroom over here with her number one helper, Rocco the dog. Here we go. Mercedes. Yes, hello. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? What's going on here? We're just having a little bit, little bit of Rocco reading time. So the kids come and um, choose a book and sit and read with uh, Rocco, who likes to listen to the stories. I think they quite like Rocco. Oh, yes, they love it. <laughs> Especially if they're reluctant readers, they'll come and read if the dog's here, you know. <laughs> so why are we here, Mercedes? Um, I'm not sure. Well, let me tell you. I'm Michael from Seven Sharp and we've been hearing some really, really lovely stories about you getting alongside the Tamariki of Palmerston North, being a mentor, showing them love, support, and more than anything else, just good old fashioned friendship. Yes. <laughs> and for that reason, Mercedes, I'm delighted to tell you that you are this week's ASB Good As Gold recipient. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you, that's so lovely. So the ASB would love to give you $10,000 oh in recognition of all the work you do, all the voluntary work you do. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And we're thinking maybe $5,000 for your charity. Yes, most definitely. And how about $5,000 for you and the family? Oh my goodness. To go and have a little bit of a splurge. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wonderful. It's just such a lovely surprise. I mean. The work itself is rewarding, but that makes it really extra exciting. And I think even Rocco's got a smile on his face. Yes, he, he'll be very happy about extra dog treats. <laughs> what drives me is the joy I see when I come into schools with or without our therapy dog and the delight on the kids' faces. It fills my cup every day. There's genuine cut through. Oh, most definitely. It's all about feeling supported, building their self-esteem, knowing that somebody's there to listen and be their biggest champion. Having the time shows that you care. Yes, 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 because everybody's too busy these days and teachers have got so much pressure on them and they've got so many kids in the class. And so if the community can come on board and, and help alleviate some of that pressure in a collaborative way, what's not to like? <laughs> when your head hits the pillow at night, what are you thinking? Oh, I feel <laughs> quite exhausted, but also happy. The curly black one is like a magnet. Yeah, he is indeed, isn't he? They come running. They just come running. In relation to the money, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that I would like it all to go to the trust. We can do masses with it, um, and it changes lives, what we do. Well, shall we make the executive decision? Yes, if that's OK. All to the trust. Great, thank you. <laughs> If you know a deserving New Zealander, nominate them at asbgoodasgold.co.nz.